when i was a kid maybe 7 8 years old if someone asks me what will you do when you grow up i used to say i will become a pilot but of course as i grew up i kind of forgot that but today i decided to act on it of course there is no upper age limit to become a pilot anyone can become a pilot when you decide to become a pilot the first thing what you have to do is search for nearest flying school and book a discovery flight there are no prerequisites to book this flight anyone can book it usually it will be about 1 hour to 1 and 1/2 hours and it will be a combination of some ground lessons and some flight lessons i found the nearest airport which is in concord north carolina and i booked an introductory flight with one flying school over here and in this video i am going to show you how it goes can't forget about corona can we let's go now let's see what happens on your first day of flying lessons as you enter probably you will talk with the receptionist who will introduce you to your flying instructor these are the people with faa issued flying instructor certificate also known as cfi once you are introduced to your flying instructor he or she will have a short discussion with you during which your flying instructor will ask you some questions like what are your plans about flying don't worry you can always say i don't know to all of these questions and they wouldn't mind at all then they will brief you about today's flight and will tell you which plane you are going to fly today oh yes you heard it right they will give control of the plane to you once you are cruising on day 1 after a brief introduction about today's flight and some basics about flying you will head to the hangar where the plane is located sometimes it might not be the hangar and the plane is just park outside like this now i want to mention one thing over here most likely you will fly cessna 172 plane on your first day this is by far the most widely used plane for training due to its simple and robust design and my first flight was no exception and now the real class begins your flight instructor will tell you everything you need to know about the plane in detail you will get all the information about which dials give what information how to start the plane how to turn the plane while taxiing or how to turn the plane while flying etc etc it's a lot of information to absorb but you don't have to remember everything just remember few main things like how to turn the plane and how to change the engine speed i will not go into details of how to fly the plane in this video i will make a separate video about it and there will be a long pre-flight checklist to perform you have to inspect the plane visually for any cracks or damage every single time you fly then you have to manually check how much fuel is remaining and are there any impurities in the fuel you cannot just trust the fuel gauge like a car to be honest it's really a long list and again i will not go into details but it includes everything like checking tire pressure engine oil lights etc it takes almost half an hour to 45 minutes to do all the checks then you hop in the plane you have to use these headphones and these are special aviation headphones they are noise cancelling because once that engine starts trust me you will be needing noise cancellation and also you will use these headphones to communicate with your instructor one more time your instructor will brief you about all the controls and then you start the engine and taxi to the start of the runway now the next part varies a little bit depending from which airport you are taking off if it's a big airport or small one if it's a big or even medium sized airport then your instructor will talk to the air traffic control tower and ask the permission for takeoff also the instructor will note down the current weather information from radio and again you will perform a final pre takeoff checklist to make sure everything is working fine aviation is all about safety so there are many many checklist and they are for your safety so never be lazy and skip over any item do it all thoroughly once you get the permission for take off then you will align the plane with the center line of runway and give a full throttle plane will start speeding up and you have to keep an eye on the speed and when specific take off speed is reached the instructor will pull back on the yoke 
and the plane will slowly lift off the ground. This takeoff part will be mostly performed by your instructor, but he will be explaining at every step about what he is doing and why he is doing that. And the controls in these planes are such that if someone pulls on one yoke on one side, then another yoke also moves the same. So you can just keep your hands on the yoke and you can feel what he is doing. Same with the paddles in your legs. You can just feel what is going on and get the idea about how plane reacts when something is changed. You will climb up to some desired altitude and then fun begins. In my case, we climb to 2500 feet. Now he will hand over controls of the plane to you. Then he will ask you to do some basic maneuvers. Well, very basic maneuvers. Like he will say, take the left turn while keeping the altitude constant. The reason to say constant altitude is because if you just turn the plane towards left, it starts losing altitude as well. So you have to pull back the yoke a little bit simultaneously while turning it to the left. Then go to the right, go up, go down, etc, etc. You will get a quick grasp of it. And trust me, that feeling is amazing. We did one very interesting maneuver where he pointed to one building on the ground on my left side and said, take a full 360 degree turn around it without changing the altitude. Later, he showed me the turn I took on the map and it was almost perfect. This is the actual snapshot. Anyway, after 30-40 minutes of flying, he will ask you to head back. In my case, the plane was pretty old, so it did not have the latest navigation equipment. So he had an iPad with him on which we were able to see the path and other planes around us. After going near the airport, instructor will take controls back from you and perform the landing. Again, you can get a feel of everything he is doing and he will be explaining that as well. Once you are on the ground, you will taxi back to the parking spot and perform a final post-flight checklist in which again you have to observe for any damages and report if you find any. Finally, again you will have one-to-one -one session with your instructor in office where he will explain to you the process of getting private pilot license or commercial if you want that. This process is quite long and complicated so I will make a separate video about how to get a private pilot license and how much it costs. You can also ask any questions if you have. And that's it. That's the first lesson in flying. This is where your journey begins. We did it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will be making regular update videos about my progress towards becoming a pilot and explain to you every single step of it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh, sorry, that's from my another YouTube channel. Anyway, see you soon.